Well, all right, everybody. We've got two steps left in our drug calculation uh, class. And we've learned unit conversion and weight conversion. We learned how to figure up simple concentration. We learned how to figure up fluid uh, calculations and how to give a certain amount of fluid over a certain amount of time. So today we need to learn how to draw up medications out of a vial or syringe or an ampule. For example, if I have a patient who I'm told to give 15 milligrams of a medicine to, and I have a vial that has 30 milligrams in the vial, how do I know how much of that to pull up into a syringe? And so this is one of the more crucial parts of understanding uh, drug calculations, but it's also one of the easiest. And so we've got this part to uh, finish, and then the last step will be figuring up infusion rates and we'll be done with pharmacology calculations. And so let's get started and see if we can't knock this out. Well, all right. So as I said, this is the step in which we have to learn uh, how to pull up medications out of a container. And that container may be a vial or it may be a uh, ampule or maybe a bag of fluid. And here's the formula for figuring that. When you're trying to decide how many milliliters of a medicine to pull up and give, the way you figure that is by doing a simple uh, calculation. And the formula for that is the desired dose, so what you have been ordered to give the patient, over the simple concentration. And if this unit right here and this unit right here match, then you're going to end up with how many milliliters do you need to give that patient. Now, I just want you to remember that this is going to be desired dose, what is the order, over the simple concentration, which is how do you have it supplied, whether it's in a vial or syringe or a bag. And these units, milligram over milligram, microgram over microgram, these units have to be the same. And if you do that, you're going to figure, figure up how much medication to pull up in milliliters. This is extremely simple once you uh, learn it. It's going to be putting all of it together that takes a little bit of work. So let me give you some simple examples. Let's say that I have a vial of Benadryl, okay? And let's say that when I pick the Benadryl up out of my bag, it says that I have 100 milligrams in five milliliters. So here's my vial, there's my vial, and on the vial it would tell you I have 100 milligrams over five milliliters. So that's what I have in the vial. And what I have been told is my protocol says that I need to give this guy 25 milligrams. That's what I'm supposed to give him. So this is the desired dose is what it is, the amount that I'm supposed to give the patient. And what I need to know is I need to know in my syringe here how much, so how many milliliters do I need to pull up to give that? Well, using this formula here, the desired dose is 25 milligrams. So the desired dose is 25 milligrams. That's what I'm supposed to give the patient. I've got to put it over the simple concentration. Well, the simple concentration I have to figure out. Now, we've already done this formula. The simple concentration formula is how much drug in milligrams do I have over how many milliliters. And so the simple concentration is 100 milligrams over 5 milliliters, which would equal 5 goes into 10, 2. So that would be 20 milligrams per milliliter. So that's the simple concentration. So that goes over here for this formula. 20 milligrams, milliliters goes up here. The milligrams cancel because they're the same unit. That's going to leave that I'm left with milliliters. When I say 25 divided by 20, it will go into that once. Drop a zero. 20 will go into 50 twice. Drop another zero, it'll go into 100. So I need to draw up 1.25 milliliters. 
And if I will draw this up in a syringe, I will have 25 milligrams. Let's do another one. I'm giving a vial of medicine. It contains one gram and it is supplied in 20 milliliters. So, first question, what's the simple concentration of this? 1,000 milligrams over 20 milliliters means the simple concentration is 50 milligrams per milliliter. So that is the simple concentration of how it is supplied. I have been ordered to give the patient 500 milligrams of the medicine. So the formula is desired dose over simple concentration. So that means the desired dose is 500 milligrams I have it supplied 50 milligrams per milliliter, that's the simple concentration. These units are the same. 50 goes into 500 10 times. So I need to draw up 10 milliliters in a syringe. When I draw up 10 milliliters, I will have that amount of medicine in it. Let me give you a few to work here. I'm going to put how the medicine is supplied here. I'm going to put how much you're ordered to give here. I'm then going to ask you what the simple concentration is and then I'm going to ask you how many milliliters do you need to pull up to get that. So let's do a few. We're going to say we have a drug that supplied 50 milligrams in 5 milliliters and you're told to give 15 milligrams. Then we're going to say the drug is supplied 2 grams in 10 milliliters and you've been ordered to give 750 milligrams. Let's do the drug is supplied 15 milligrams in 3 milliliters and you have been ordered to give 10 milligrams of it. Let's do the drug is applied 1 milligram in 10 milliliters and you have been ordered to give 0.3 milligrams. And then we'll do the drug is applied 100 mics in two milliliters and you have been ordered to give 25 micrograms. And then we'll do this one here where it supplied 800 mics in 10 milliliters and you have been ordered to give 1.5 milligrams. All right, what's the simple concentration of this supply? 50 divided by 5, and if you do 50 over 5, that means the simple concentration is 10 milligrams per milliliter. 2 grams is 2,000 milligrams over 10. Simple concentration is going to be 200 milligrams per milliliter. This one here, 15 divided by 3, makes my simple concentration 5 milligrams per mil. This one here, 1 milligram in 10 milliliters, so you got 1 milligram divided by 10 milliliters, means the simple concentration of this, by the way, is going to be 0.1 milligram per milliliter. 100 mics in 2 milliliters, we're going to simply say that is 50 mics per milliliter and then 800 mics in 10 is going to be 80 mics per milliliter. 
Now I want to know how much do I need to draw up of these. Well, if I've been ordered 15, that's the desired dose, and it is supplied, sample concentration, 10 per mil. So therefore the answer to that would be 15 divided by 10. I need to draw up 1.5 milliliters. 200 is the, excuse me, 750 is the desired dose. It is supplied 200. I need to draw up 200 divided by 750. It goes into that 3. Point seven five milliliters. All right. The desired the dose is ten. That's what they want me to give. The simple concentration of what I've got is five. I need to draw up two milliliters. All right. They want me to give point three. The simple concentration is point one. Point three divided by point one equals. 3 milliliters. They want me to give 25 mics. It's supplied 50 mics per mil. Notice here that these units are the same so they can cancel. As long as they're the same they get to cancel. Which means I need to give 0.5 milliliters. Desired dose is 1.5 milligrams. it's applied 80 mics per mil. These units aren't the same, so one of these units have to be changed. I can either change this to micrograms or I can change that to milligrams, but they have to be the same unit. So I'm going to change this to micrograms, which would be 1500 mics over 80 mics, which means I would need to draw up 1.8 milliliter. All right, let's take a look at a big problem. You have a 200 and just do this. You have a 220 pound patient. You have been told to give this patient 2 milligrams per kilogram of a medication. That is the desired dose. Okay. Your drug comes supplied 500 milligrams in 10 milliliters. You were told to place it into a 500 milliliter bag and give it over one hour using a 10 drop set. So question one, how much does he weigh? Question two, what is the total drug needed. Question three, what is the simple concentration of the supply that I have been given to use? Question four, how many milliliters do I need to give this put in this bag? Question five, what is the simple concentration of the bag after I have mixed it? And six, what is the drop setting? Question seven, what is the pump setting?
those are the seven questions so far that we need to be able to answer. So make sure you got those written down. We're going to go to the next screen and work our way. All right. First question is pretty easy. How much does a patient weigh? 200 pounds divided by two, excuse me, 220 pounds divided by 2.2 means that he weighs an even 100 kilograms. What is the total drug needed to give this patient? It says that I need to give 2 milligram per key. So take 2 milligrams times his 100 keys means the total drug needed to this patient is 200 milligrams. Now make sure you see this. This is how much drug in total I need to give this patient. 200 milligrams because it's 2 per key and he weighs 100 keys. What's the simple concentration of how the drug is supplied? It says that it is supplied 500 milligrams in 10 milliliters. So if I take and put 500 milligrams over the 10 milliliters, that gives me a simple concentration of 50 milligrams per milliliter of the supply. Now here's the part we've learned this morning. How much do I need to give him? Well, do I give him this? No, this is the simple concentration. We have to give him the total amount he is desired, which is 200 milligrams. This is the total amount of drug I need to get out of the vial to put into the bag. So this is the desired dose. 200 milligrams is the desired dose. The simple concentration of how it is supplied is right here. This is the vial I'm getting it out of, so that's 50 milligrams, 50 milligrams per milliliter. The milligrams cancel, they're the same units. 200 divided by 50 means that I need to pull out of my syringe, out of my vial, four milliliters. Now, when I pull that four milliliters out of that vial, I have this amount of drug in it. Now, I put it in the bag. How much medicine do I have in the bag? Not four meals, that's not how much medicine. I have the 200 milligrams because that's what I pulled up out of. So that's how much medicine I put into the bag. How big's the bag? What's 500 milliliters? So what's the simple concentration of the bag? Well, 200 divided by 500 means the simple concentration of my bag is 0.4 milligrams Per milliliter. That's what's the bag simple concentration. Now all they want to do is give this bag over an hour. So if I say the amount of medicine, the amount of fluid over the time in minutes, which is 60 minutes, and remember we're using a 10 drop set. 10 goes into 10 once, 10 goes into 66. 500 divided by 6 means that I need to set this at 83 drops per minute. I get to the hospital and they want me to put it on a pump. I used a 10 drop set to get to this, so I gotta say 10 times 60 to get my pump setting. Means my pump should be set at 500 milliliters per hour. Now the whole goal of this video is so that you can back this up and go back over this because I know this is a lot of information. It's especially a lot of information when you're not, when I'm not standing in front of you going over it. Uh, but I want you to, to back this up and try your best to figure up uh, how we came to the answers we did. And when we get to class, we'll try to go over these again. I'll try to put up some worksheets for you so that we can practice this. And hopefully by the time we get done with class, hopefully by the time we get through with the class, uh, you'll understand this. So don't panic. Don't get extremely nervous. Just try your best to see where the answers are coming from, and then we'll go over them in class.